Hi, my name is Deanna Zarillo and I am a publishing assistant for academic journals at Oxford University Press based out of the New York office. Hi, I'm Michael Sperling. I work in the OUP library based here in Oxford at the Great Clarendon Street offices. I'm Casper Grothwell and I'm the president of Oxford Languages. I work in the New York office. Hello, my name is Sarah Rogerson and I am director of assessment at Oxford University Press. Hi, my name is John Clegg and I work in the communications team at OUP. I am based in the Oxford office. I'm an out gay woman and I have been since I started at the press. I've worked at OUP since 1998 and I've been out as a gay man that entire time. I've been at the press for four years and have been out as a gay man the entire time. I've worked for OUP for 10 years. To be honest, being a gay man has never been an issue for me. I've had the opportunity over the last 20 years to firsthand watch how OUP has evolved on issues that are important to the LGBTQ community. Being out at press um, is, is just as easy as being out as a heterosexual person. Well, OUP has been promoting diversity and equality for a number of years now, and as part of a creative industry, it's always been diverse anyway. I am one of the co-chairs of the LGBTQ plus staff network at OUP. I feel like it gives me the opportunity to be part of a wider community at the press and it also allows me to create uh, opportunities for learning, networking, and to provide feedback to HR. OUP is a great place for LGBTQ people to work because of its active participation and collaboration with LGBTQ organizations. It's encouraging to see more and more people feel comfortable expressing who they are, their sexual and gender identity in the workplace at OUP. Being heard by your employer is incredibly important and OUP doesn't just do the bare minimum by ticking diversity boxes. It actually cares for the well-being of all of its employees. OUP has created an environment that not only allows me to bring my whole self to work by embracing and sharing in my authenticity, but by being able to do so without having to make compromises or consider the costs. I don't usually discuss my, a great deal of my home life, but then um, some of my colleagues I know the names of their pets and their children, so it's up to you. I am married to a woman and I have uh, eight-year-old twins. And I regularly mention them uh, in team meetings. I, I talk about them to my colleagues. I feel comfortable being able to talk about my husband and my daughter and bring people that I work with into the life that I lead fully. I'm an absolute open book with my colleagues. I feel comfortable sharing just about anything. And I'm never made to feel that I have to second guess which parts of myself I can be open about. It makes me feel seen, appreciated, and understood. If I wasn't out, I wouldn't be as good an employee. It enables me to connect with people better as a mother, as a partner, as a friend. It enables me to um, encourage other people to talk about their own lives at work. I think being out as bi at work has empowered me to bring different perspectives to every situation. I feel safe, accepted, and respected by being out to my boss and my coworkers. I don't have to hide if I have a partner or who my partner is. And with my ethnic background, I'd like to think I can empathise with anybody who comes from a different culture. A staggering amount of people in the UK who had previously been out at university go back into the closet when they start working. That isn't necessary at OUP. And I appreciate the effort that they make to create a safe environment. I feel supported as an LGBTQ community member at OUP. Being out doesn't just impact me, it impacts the culture of my team and the whole culture of my company. I really appreciate everybody at, at OUP for enabling me to just be who I am.